Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Okay, y'all notice I'm wrapped up even more. You know, this might have to change from Gigi on the track as soon as tomorrow to Gigi on the porch <laughs> because it's getting colder, it's getting colder. And uh, it's a beautiful day though, it's a crisp day, kind of cloudy. But again, this is a day that the Lord has made and we're gonna rejoice and be glad in it. You know, before I start, there's a young fella that's always running out here. And uh, today he's running and, you know, I'm cold and he's still got on his shorts and shirt. And so he passed me by and I said, he had slowed down. I said, aren't you cold? <laughs> and he said, yeah, I, I got a good warm up. And I said, you know, the grandma in me, and I can't believe I said that, but anyway, I, I'm now grandma. I said, the grandma in me says, you know, be careful, you know, running out here and then sweating. He said, yeah, I know I could get sick. And he said, thank you. And he kept on running. And uh, it was, uh, I was thinking about what I was going to talk about today, but I, I wanted to um, say this today. I want to talk about the greatest gift that grandparents can give the greatest gift that grandparents you know today uh, most children are being raised or assisted by grandparents and there's so many reasons uh, why that is happening uh, but we see that more and more and I believe that God in his omniscience uh, saw that down the road many, many, many years ago. And you know, as I was reading the Daily Bread, uh, the verse that stood out to me was Deuteronomy 4, 9. Um, Moses had been talking to the people. They had come into the promised land and he wanted to remind them of how God had how he how God had brought them through and what a great nation they were and how he had taught them the laws and decrees and how what a great nation they were and how good God and didn't want them to forget and you know he began the chapter by saying now Israel here are the decrees and laws I'm about to teach you follow them so that ye may live and may go and take possession of the land of the Lord and it keeps going on and he says uh, uh, surely this great nation is wise and an understanding people what other nation is so great as to have their gods near them the way the Lord our God is near us but he was talking about you know don't forget how great and how good I have been to you and then the verse I want to concentrate on is only be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things that your eyes or let them fade from your heart as long as you live teach them to your children and to their children after them and he was talking about the grandparents you know I remember Paul well, Paul was talking to Timothy and, and Paul reminded Timothy of the legacy that his mother and grandmother had passed down to them. And that is the greatest gift that we, especially as grandparents, because, you know, we live in a society now, it looks like there's been a, a skip uh, in generations when it comes to um, teaching uh, children about God and about the goodness of God and the greatness of God and uh, I think God planned it that way I always said thank God for grandparents I think God planned it that way to fill in that gap to fill in the gap and I I'm always grateful to my parents who were both my parents but were the age of grandparents because they adopted me uh, when they were older and wiser and they never 
start reminding me about the greatness of God and how to obey God. You know, I, I'm reminded also of, of one of our members, Evangelist King from Trinidad, how she always reminds us that you have to live a life for God and, and remind him of how good and how great he is. And I think that is the, the greatest gift that a grandparent uh, can give um, to their grandchildren and also parents to their children. But like I said, in this day and time, it seems like the grandparents have had to fill in that gap. And so we thank God for you grandparents. This is the greatest gift that you can give your grandchildren to share and let them not forget how great God is and to always follow him and obey his law. That is the greatest, that is the greatest gift that you can give your grand, your grandchildren. So, um, like I said, hmm, tomorrow it might be Gigi on the porch, but I'm going to try to come out as much as possible. As long as I wrap up, now I'm not going to be um, ice skiing if it's snowing and I'm not going to be out here if it's thundering and lightning. But anyway, I enjoy these walls. It's something about the fresh air. Uh, I thank God for that. So, grandparents especially, we're all in a special group, but that's the greatest gift that you can give your grandparents, grandchildren. So you be blessed. Have a wonderful day.